How's it going guys? Uh, so recently Rugby18 uh, did a live stream on their Facebook page and I kind of wanted to pinpoint all the major things that we kind of found out in that live stream in this video. If you haven't actually watched the live stream yet, go and watch it uh, because uh, cause you can get your own view on the whole thing. Um, but yeah, this is my point of view and all the stuff I saw. Right, so first of all, the teams that have actually been announced officially are the Wallabies, the uh, well, Welsh Rugby Union, uh, the Scottish Rugby, Italy, France, the Viva Premiership, and the Top 14 and the Pro D2. What I think will be added on later on, announced like it's going to be the Pro uh, the Pro 14, Guinness Pro 14 now, uh, because they actually kind of hinted about that in the live stream because people were asking that, and they said, uh, well, we can't actually tell you yet, but it's what was it? I think you'll be very happy with the outcome or something they said. So that pretty much sounds like it's going to be confirmed. Uh, so with that then, because South African teams are going to be in it, I think South Africa will also be confirmed later on as a national team. And then the oh, outside chances then are uh, the American team, Canada, Argentina, Georgia, Romania, Japan, Ireland or England. It can be any of them. I don't know if any of them are actually going to be announced. Um, but you, you don't know. I mean, like in the past, the Rugby, uh, the Rugby World Cup 2015 games... They had America and Canada licensed, so they could be licensed in this one coming if they still have the licenses for it. But uh, yeah, sorry, that was my phone that just went off. Uh, but yeah, you don't know. Uh, so yeah, these are the, uh, the key points in the live stream that I found. Uh, so first of all, the loading screens have like a quiz. Yeah, so this quiz is going to be uh, to win money for your ultimate team mode to make your own squad and to buy players potentially. Uh, so I thought that was kind of different and quite cool as well. Um, and then moving on then, this was the opening scene of a match they were playing. Um, the graphics, man, is just amazing graphics. Um, it's like, I don't know, it's it's kind of like the FIFA feel to it. If you look at the FIFA stadiums in FIFA, the graphics are amazing. And I feel like they've really like nailed the graphics when it comes to the stadium in this game. I mean, if you're watching the live stream, you will generate well it's a bit laggy and stuff but the stadium it generally feels like almost realistic so I was pretty impressed with that uh, and then this another angle then of the stadium as you can see the graphics are brilliant the sky everything even the scenery in the background like it's just it, it, it they've done a really good job eco software should be you should be proud of that guys and then we've got a cutscene then of the players actually coming out of the stadium uh, this, is, this is quite dimly lit because it, I think they kind of skipped it so I managed to freeze frame it and take a screenshot. But yeah, it, it does look quite realistic. Uh, the players, I don't actually know many players from Saracens and Toulon and the players that they played with, but you guys might notice. Uh, so this is the kickoff then, again, you can see the graphics look really good. The mechanism of the kickoff looks pretty good as well. Um, let's zoom in on that. The options you have are the punt, and I can't really see it, but you guys should be able to see it because it'll be a bit more clearer. Um, but yeah, you have loads of different kicking options anyway, so I thought that was quite cool. Uh, it's a bit different as well considering to Rugby 15 and Rugby World Cup 2015. Um, but yeah, that'll make it quite a bit more interesting because you'll have tactics and stuff that you personally can set up and stuff for your team. So this is the mall setting, so you have your own little tactics and stuff that you can set up, like if you want to go with the uh, passing or anything like that, I think this is the one with the passing. No, this isn't. Uh, but this one basically displays the options and stuff and how the bring players into the mall. Um, so, yeah, it, it, again, the settings are different compared to the other games. Uh, it's more realistic now. You can set up your team. This is the one that you can pass out when the mall is finally finished. Uh, you have different options here. I think you can pass left, pass right. What's the other one? Is it, yeah, drop kick and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then moving on to the next one, then we have the line out system. Again, you have all different settings. It's a bit blurry, so I can't really read it from my monitor here. Uh, but you guys should be able to see it. I don't know either way, but uh, anyway, you can clearly see that it's going to be a lot of settings for your line out. Uh, so if you want to do a mall, if you want to kick it away, if you want to pretty much do anything, then it, hopefully it should run smoothly and work. Um, this is the kicking display then. 
Uh, again, you have the really cool graphics in the background. Looks, it makes it look really realistic. Uh, you have all the different kicking settings, which I will show you later on. This is just a animation thing that they did. Yeah, this is uh, the pause menu. Uh, oh no, this is the end of half menu. So you've got your team layout and you've got the score and you've got all the statistics and stuff there. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, and that's just something you would expect in a rugby game anyway. Um, so this is the kicking mechanism. Is it? It should be anyway. No, it's not. Uh, but this is one of the kicking mechanisms. Uh, as you can see, you can curl the ball into the post, which is new again, because I don't think they've had that before, have they? They might have. I don't know, but I thought it was quite interesting anyway, because like, if the wind direction and everything is blowing a certain way, you have to curl your analog stick to try and get it around. So, again, makes it a bit more realistic, I thought. Uh, this is another cutscene then at the end of the match. Uh, again, I don't know the two lawn players, so if you guys recognize them, Feel free to let me know what if they look similar to real life. Um, but yeah, either way, the graphics are pretty good. Looks almost like a rugby, rugby challenge, but a little bit better. And it looks kind of as well the early days of the FIFA games, so like FIFA 11, FIFA 12, going around there. So it's pretty good considering we haven't actually had a rugby game that had like that HD graphic type thing before. So you know, this is the kicking mechanism. Then uh, you get to place your ball. Uh, well, obviously in line of where you've scored the try, uh, you can move it back and forth and stuff. And then once you confirm that, you have a short animation then of the kicker putting the ball on the kicking tee, uh, just to make it a bit more realistic. But you can skip the cutscenes if you didn't want them. Uh, and then obviously then you have the same kicking routine where you have the analog stick and you just like flick it up. I'll show you like a demonstration. So like you have this, and then you're just like pull it back and then flick it and try and get it in line and you can curve it and stuff so it's pretty cool um, it's, it's it's better than just like setting the power and stuff like they've had before as well so it makes it more realistic like um, so our next one then I asked them to change the stadium and they went ahead and did that so it's quite a chuffed of that to be honest with you uh, and I also like the fact that I think this is meant to be a UK stadium so it looks pretty good because like, you know, the UK weather here is typical cloudy, crappy weather and stuff. And they actually captured that in the graphics uh, because com compared to the other stadium where the sun was low and lit really well, like this one is just like kind of dimly lit, shadowed, overcast, a bit dark as well. And it really does capture the UK type feeling to it. So I was pretty cool of that. I think the Scottish Canon as well said it looked a bit like Murrayfield. And it kind of does as well, say like the turf and everything. So it does. It looks pretty good. This is the scrum system. Uh, they said you have kind of like it's kind of like a puzzle type thing, if it makes sense. Uh, you'll have your scrum, and then the little dot you can see around the circle. You have to try and uh, line the analog up with that, and then the little dot keeps moving around. You got to keep trying lining it up with that to win your scrum. I think anyway. That's kind of what I made out. It might be completely different, but it's along those lines anyway. So again, it's different, uh, probably has a more realistic feel to it. The graphics, as I said, really helps. Uh, what we were watching as well, obviously it was a bit choppy and lagging a bit, but uh, it ran smoothly and that's pretty what I was happy with. Um, so again, this is another angle of the stadium, this is the final one as well. Again, it does generally look like a UK stadium, so good job Eco Software for that. Um, a few things then I asked in the live stream as well I said about career mode I asked would you be able to make your own like say virtual pro like you had in the FIFA games and have a story mode type thing playing for the club that you want to and stuff like that but they said no unless they have it for a player which you get like a player that already exists and stuff I don't think that type of mode is in the game as of yet anyway um, but yeah it, it looks promising um, the modes you have as well is like you can pick your own team, make it and stuff, so that sounds quite good. The graphics look good. Uh, there's a load of licensed teams which people are really surprised about. The Wallabies being confirmed quite recently as well. I was quite shocked at that as well because I didn't think they were going to get any 7 Hemisphere teams, but I was wrong. So, yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, comment, let me know what you thought of Rugby 18. Are you looking forward to it? Really want to know. Uh, also, let me know about those similarities of the graphics of players to real life, I really want to know about that as well, and uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, I've got other videos coming, I've got vlogs and 
loads of other cool videos that you guys will like if you just don't like if you don't like just rug free then I've got loads of different stuff as well um, so yeah can't wait for this game to come out uh, there'll be more videos on this when more news is available and uh, yeah I will see you in the next one guys peace out